Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Fatina and today we want to share with you guys six captivating facts or myths about mud crabs. Are you excited to know? Keep on watching. Fact number one. Mud crabs are active during the night and sleep during the day. They usually forage for food and move about during the night. During the day, they prefer to hide from predators in mud pits to keep them safe. Most of the crab farmers will feed the crab early in the morning and late in the evening. Some farm operators even feed them suppers around midnight. Their activity and aggression level can be quite different from the daytime versus nighttime. Comparing our observation of the crabs in the morning, the actual conditions can be quite different at night. Most of the crabs that escape from their individual box occur during nighttime. Fact number two, soft shell crabs. Crabs go through the process of molting by shredding off their shell in order to grow. The crabs will then proceed to absorb minerals from the water to harden their shells. Crabs that are harvested before their shell hardens are known as soft shell crabs. In Asia, soft shell crabs are commonly obtained by harvesting newly molted mud crabs. While in the United States, soft shell crabs or known as pillar crabs are harvested from blue swimmers crabs. Fact number three. Crabs won't die if their eye is bitten by a mosquito. It is commonly known that if the mosquitoes manage to sting the eyes of the crab, the crab will not survive, and it's wrong. Mosquitoes are attracted to warm-blooded creatures, while crabs are cold-blooded. In addition, some of the mud crabs, usually the brood stock used for hatchery production, undergo a procedure called eye stock ablation, where their eyes are cut off to stimulate egg production and guess what the crabs are able to survive this procedure fact number four crab soup for dengue treatment there are studies done by a malaysian university that state that the blood of the mud crab contains disease fighting abilities especially for dengue and cancer it has been a traditional belief particularly among the malays to cook soups using mud crabs as a remedy to cure and treat dengue fever that is why mud crab's prices are always fluctuating within the year. Fact number five, mud crabs are omnivores. Mud crabs are picky eaters and prefer only fish that are fresh. There have been fears about mud crabs feeding on human flesh, but that has never been officially recorded. Or I will stop interacting with crabs from now onwards. Chicken is probably the closest form of meat when it comes to mud crab. Feed although it is not practiced that much throughout the years. And fact number six, dead crabs are poisonous. In countries like the Philippines, Malaysia and Indonesia, consumers will not consider eating dead crabs. Claims have been made that crab meat is poisonous after dying. However, in countries like Thailand and India, it is common for consumers to buy frozen dead crabs. In general, crab meat turns bad very quickly like any chicken and beef, if left at normal room temperature after they are dead. If the dead crabs are frozen immediately and stored, it can still be consumed later on. And that's the six facts or myths about my crabs. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this, leave us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Feel free to check out our free ebooks in the description box below. See you in the next video. Bye!